million babies are born to mothers with HIV worldwide. Um, and with the advent of prenatal antiretroviral therapy, up to 98% of these babies are HIV exposed, uninfected, or what we call HEU. And while a lot of research attention has focused on babies with HIV infection, perinatal HIV, very little attention has actually been paid to look long term at the consequences of in utero HIV exposure in the absence of HIV infection. Um, so looking at the long term consequences in this HEU group. Um, and so we know from literature about maternal obesity and gestational diabetes that um, these exposures in utero can lead to metabolic disease and offspring later in life. And in HIV, that's a state of immune activation. There's exposure to antiretroviral therapy, potential nutrition or metabolic differences in the mom. And so those exposures in utero may predispose to obesity and reactive airway disease later in life. And that was our hypothesis when we uh, started this study. Um, so I used a, a research patient data registry at an academic health uh, center in Boston. And I found 50 HEU adolescents um, and young adults whose median age was about 18. Um, and I match those HEU adolescents to controls um, up to three to one on numerous demographic factors, age, sex, race, ethnicity, and zip code. Um, so trying to match for as many demographic and socioeconomic factors as possible. Um, and what I found in this uh, cohort was that the prevalence of obesity in the HEU adolescents was strikingly high, 42%. Um, and that that was much higher than it was in the controls, which was about 25%. And similarly, we also found a relationship between where HEU adolescents had a higher uh, prevalence of reactive airway disease compared to controls. Um, so both of the abnormalities were present. Um, and so I then wanted to look to see what maternal factors might actually predict these HEU adverse outcomes. Um, and so we looked at different HIV-related factors during pregnancy, like CD4 count, which is an, is an indicator of how severe the HIV infection is and how severe maternal immune dysfunction is. Um, we looked at viral load, antiretroviral therapy. Um, and what we saw was, interestingly, there was a inverse association between CD4 count during pregnancy and the HEU adolescent BMI. So a lower CD4 count suggesting more maternal immune dysfunction was associated with more obesity in the offspring. And this was a very interesting finding in that these two parameters are separated apart in time by at least 12 years um, in our sample. And so the fact that these two things could still be associated suggests that there is a biologic link between the in utero HIV exposure and the long-term health outcomes. And with all of this, um, there really needs to be future studies um, in order to understand further what the metabolic disease risk is in HEU adolescents and young adults, especially because this population is growing. And now it numbers about 18 million people worldwide, um, which equates to about half the total number of people that actually have HIV in the world. Um, so a very large population. Um, and this also really um, hits home that in utero exposures are an important cause of and determinant of metabolic metabolic health, um, and that this, uh, the HEU population may actually harbor insights for other populations exposed to um, abnormal um, in utero environments, including individuals born to obese mothers or uh, mothers with gestational diabetes.